Okay, all let's try something interesting. This chat GPT can it solve a MCQ paper? So basically, I just uh, shared a video on the uh, MCS prelims one paper, which is a objective type MCQ paper. So let's see if chat GPT can solve it. It will be a very interesting, and it just this interesting thought just came to me. And uh, let's see what happens. I'll share the screen. So here we are. So first of all, uh, what you need to do is um, have the paper. Uh, so scan it as a PDF. If I mean you're an aspirant, you'll be having it. So just scan it as a PDF. And you, if you open a PDF in a Microsoft Word, it'll try to convert it into a doc file. And of course, the converse the converse, uh, the converted uh, Word file is not that great. There will be a lot of uh, mistakes and formatting issues. Uh, and then uh, you will have to tweak it and make it readable uh, because um, you know otherwise chat GPT will not understand it and to start with you will have to uh, write a, uh, basically a prompt so I have written here hi I want you to solve the below mentioned MCQs please provide the correct option for each question and mention the question number clearly yeah, because sometimes you know uh, because of the formatting it will mess up the question number so it's very important that you write this q1 q2 and separate the questions uh, so the numbering has to be proper otherwise chat gpt will not like it, it, it messes up and there are other issues uh, with chat gpt as well uh, that uh, it will not have data after a certain point of time i think some 2022 20, is the cutoff and so, so very latest questions I, I don't think it will be able to solve and sometimes it gets it gives the wrong uh, answers as well. So uh, you have to uh, tell uh, ChatGPT to check again, and then it gets confused. So it's still a work in progress. So, but then still, it's very interesting to see the results. So what we'll do is from this Word file, we'll just um, copy everything, and then we'll go to ChatGPT, and then we'll just paste everything there and then bam, press enter so so it says sure let's go through each question one by one so you see it's giving the question number and it's also giving the responses um okay some of them are not correct okay because here if you see you know <laughs> Uh, so this is uh, wrong because uh, these things have not come from the 1935 act and uh, even this is not correct so many questions do not get correct and then uh, you know it says that um, I will continue the next set of questions in a separate prompt so this is an issue uh, so what we can do is we can try uh, when you give multiple like, these are hundred questions so then it I think it gets confused uh, by the whole thing so you can also try the um, giving like some uh, question by question for example uh, this let's take the example of this question question number three it has given a different so if we ask one single time let's ask uh, where is chat GPT okay so let's ask this question on that which of the following features of the constitution have been borrowed so we have asked the correct option is one three it says it's c it has also taken four but will tell but fundamental duties were borrowed from ussr so when we tell chat GPT, <laughs> then chat GPT says, I apologize for any confusion. The fundamental were indeed inspired by the constitution of uh, Soviet Union. I appreciate the clarification. And in the context of the given option, the correct option will be one and three. So, you know, it's still not reliable um, of how it answers the questions, but it's very interesting how it um, uh, you know adopts the whole thing now La La test some more uh, questions um, simple factual questions I think should be correct like this uh, high court writs 
um if we just put this question so but if you put one question i think it's it's uh, much more interesting and uh, we can get but it will take a lot of time so that's another thing so this is correct so it's giving uh, okay can you share more can you share more details on this article 226 so we can we can ask follow up questions as well so it uh, you know it just goes on and uh, defines article uh, 226 so i think it's a great way to learn uh, when you are analyzing a question you are putting uh, it here and then you are analyzing so i think it's it's a great way so you can read also uh, much more uh, thing so let's um, let's get into some more questions let's see um, this question on sedition how it answers it's a tricky question so just paste the question so now it's in the zone okay so you have set the expectations and all by in the first prompt so now you don't have to ask again and again okay so uh, that is the beauty of uh, this thing so when we ask this question then it uh, goes on to explain all the things so Attempts to remove minister from power if done through lawful and democratic means are not usually considered seditious. A public attack on policy is public criticizing government as long as it does not involve an intention to incite violence is generally considered a part of the free speech. So that's a, that's, that's a good uh, explanation. So you see we are getting explanation also um, uh, this thing. So um, let's uh, figure out some more questions. Okay. So let's see whether this question on endangered, uh, this site scope 19, let's see uh, whether it's a, because it can be a latest one. So when we, okay, so here, here you go. Okay. So in this question, as per my last, uh, last knowledge update in January, 2022, I don't have specific information on the outcomes of COP, uh, this thing. Uh, so it shows it's uh, this thing. So there is a cutoff date, right? So uh, these answers you'll have to Google and uh, check. So this is a limitation. So some of the uh, answers you will not get here. Uh, that is there. Uh, but anyway, it's a great way to analyze. Let's analyze some more questions. Um, okay. Um, let's see whether, because this also is, I don't know whether it has the data for it, but uh, let's try that so yeah I, it, it shows its concerns that the data concerns are there but uh, it says the delta variant so it should be okay let's try some more questions okay uh, okay let's try this one on the book because we need to get some follow-up questions so if we do that, <clears throat> so it gives you the correct answer, Arthur Conan Dial. What are the other famous books from this author? So it's a follow up question. So what are the other famous books from the same author? Because this is, he's a famous guy, right? So while preparing, you will, uh, you know, you want to know what are the other books. Okay, so these are the other books. So, so this is the way how you can use ChatGPT to uh, improve your uh, knowledge and how to solve these MCQ. Yes, but also to improve the uh, you know the other um, follow-up questions as well. So, okay. So let's ask about this uh, question. So which country hosted the first ever World Cup? It's Uruguay and it, it gives you the additional information and you can ask other information and who won and you don't have to set the context you know, because it takes the context from the first one. So Uruguay won the first, uh, then you can ask when and where was the next World Cup? 
Then the next FIFA after the inaugural was held in Italy in 1934. So, so, so you know, you can keep on asking follow-up questions and all. So you get the idea. So the only uh, limitation of this is that it will not have the latest figure. So in some cases, what happens is the answers may change because some developments have happened after January 2022. Uh, so some answers may change and for some answers, chat GPT may not be able to give the answers. But you know, here, the way you see it, you can ask it follow up questions and you can ask the explanation also. So this is a very great way to prepare. And uh, although when you bombard it with 100 questions, so it was, you know, it takes it because it has some limitations and it has to regenerate the responses and all. So maybe you can post uh, 10, 10 questions uh, at a time or 20 questions or whatever. I mean, depending on the how it responds and all. But I really think this is a great way to go one question at a time because you get to study as well. Like, the follow up questions, the related data information and all that. So it's very uh, interesting and uh, it's only going to, um, you know, be improved in the next iterations. So, uh, so this is how you can use ChatGPT to solve MCQs and to learn from it and to get better. So in the future, maybe uh, you can uh, use it yourselves. <clears throat> I hope that was uh, interesting and uh, you would uh, be using ChatGPT to solve uh, MCQs in the future and to learn and to get more information on the uh, questions which are asked. And uh, yeah, I mean, in, it will really make you very uh, productive and you can use it for your preparation. So hope you have uh, enjoyed this little video. And uh, if you really like all these stuff, which I do to help our aspirants, uh, then uh, do like the video and share it and uh, help this uh, channel and also this, these, these kind of videos to reach maximum youth who can use it for their benefit. Thank you. Kublai Shibun Mithila.